Hi, this is Tracy from Dandelion Pickin'. Today I'm gonna make a cute book sitter with a crate from Dollar Tree. So first I have a crate and then I have some umber paint, some Mod Podge. I have three colors pink, but I only chose to use one. I have some raffia, some pink flowers, did not use the pom-poms, did use that pink ribbon, did not use the twine, you know I have to be prepared, did use the paint brushes, and the white Waverly chalk paint, and some pink scrapbook paper. Now you can do this in any color scheme you want to do. Oh yeah, the scissors. So the first thing I did is paint the crate from Dollar Tree with the white Waverly chalk paint and I painted everything except the ends where the openings are. Um, I did a little bit around the edges, but I'm going to be putting scrapbook paper there, so I wasn't too worried about it. And then I just made sure it was dry with my heat tool, but you can always let it set and dry or use your hair dryer. So I chose the one pink that I liked the best, which again, any color works perfect. And I poured out way too much paint again. So what I did here is I kind of ombre the paint. So I took and did the darkest kind of up towards the top. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we want this to look like a stack of books. A stack of worn books, probably. So I wanted a little bit of um, extra white to mix in with the pink as I went down. So you can see I'm gonna take my white and kind of dab it off and put a little bit on that second one so that I can blend it with my pink. And then I just use my finger and kind of, I want them to blend together going down. So I continue doing that all the way down. And you can do it to your color or you can do them all different colors or the same color. But I really thought the ombre would look cute with the pink. So you can see again, I'm just putting enough paint on the second layer so that it gives me just a tad bit lighter of the color up top. This is really a fun paint process to do and you really can't mess it up because you can always go back and add your other colors. I'm definitely going to do this on some other stuff. So I dried that with the heat gun just to make sure it was good and dry. Now I used the burnt umber and I'm gonna come back in between the lines on the crate to give it a definition so that it looks like a stack of books more. So I just have a brush and I'm kind of holding my bristles so that they'll go down that middle. But again, you can't mess this up. Um, you can see I came off right there. I'm just gonna take a paper, a little bit of wet paper towel and I want to rub that brown a little bit all over that pink anyway to give it more of a worn, real look. So it looks like it's uh, really a book. So I did the same thing on the other side. And again, I'm just holding those bristles so they'll fit down there. And then I just came back and took the brush that had the um, pink and the white on it and just kind of ran it over it until it was looked like I wanted it to. Then I just traced out both sides, well, I traced out one side twice of the side of the crate that I'm gonna put to cover up those holes. So I just coated it with Mod Podge and put the paper on there and made sure it was on there really well. And I had cut it pretty good so I didn't have to do anything additional to that. Uh, so I had both sides done. Then I took a popsicle stick and I kind of lined it up with the lines on the 
sides of the crate and I took a pen that wasn't pushed out and just drew an indentation so I could see where those lines should be. Be careful when you go across that hole at the top. So I took the umber paint again and I did my lines to give it that book look. And again, doesn't have to be perfect. So I took my rag here and just wiped it until um, it kind of looked the way I wanted it to. And you can just get that finished and then go back. I did that on both sides. And so here I have some rub on letters that I forgot to show you at the beginning that I got from Dollar Tree. And I love these rub on letters. They look so cool and they're so easy to use. So I cut out the words, I love you. And I started with the word love because I knew it was the longest word. And once I had that on there, then I went ahead and lined up the U below it so that they were even going up and down. And then I also did the I above that so it was even with the word love. And again, these letters, a dollar, you get, I think it's one or two sheets in there and they go a long way and they are so cool and so easy to use. They also have gold ones and I think a couple other different black ones. And you can see, you can move it around a little bit, but you have to be careful because it does stick real easy. And I just use that same popsicle stick and just rub, 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 rub until it is, um, until you can't see the paper. You can't see it on the paper anymore. So if you like the video and you like how this is gonna turn out, please sprinkle the video. I would really appreciate it and it helps our page grow. I think it looks super cute and it looks kind of like an old fashioned handwriting. All right, so I took the pink ribbon and I just wrapped it around underneath the crate and wrapped it around the top and just tied it in a knot. And then I took a little bit of raffia and just kind of folded it back and forth to make it look a little bit bow-like. And then I took the same ribbon and just tied a knot around the raffia as well. Then I took this little bouquet of pink flowers I had and I cut them off of the main stem so that I could place the greenery where I wanted it and then put the amount of flowers in each side that I wanted them in there. And again, you could use greenery, you could not use greenery, you can make this your own and it would just be adorable. And I don't know what these little flowers are, but they're in the spring section and they're just so cute. So then I cut off that ribbon just to give a couple little tails and I took another piece and I just tied a cute little simple bow to stick in the middle. And I used those little tails to tie that bow on. This project was so easy and quick and it turned out so cute and could be used for any holiday or just your everyday little coffee table sitter or wherever you need a little something. So I hope you like it. I hope you make one and I hope you come over and see us at Dandelion Pickin'. We'd love to have you follow. Have a great day.